Craig stuff is definitely not for kids. I curse a lot. Craig stuff. Craig stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. Yeah. Craig stuff. Craig stuff. Craig's got a lot of stuff. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Craig's Stuff. My name is Craig, and this is some of my stuff. We have here the Star Wars Black Series Count Dooku action figure, and we're going to make this a real quick episode because it is Thursday, and I just got power back today, and tomorrow the video's got to go up, and i got to go play World of Warcraft. So uh, we're, we're going to make this real quick. So here it is. Here's the Star Wars Black Series uh, Count Dooku. Very excited for this figure. I want to say a big thanks to my buddy Eddie for picking this thing up. Because I uh, wasn't able to find one. I had pre-ordered one from GameStop. And it, you know, I think it's actually finally processing the order. But I'm going to have to cancel that. Uh, yeah, so box here. This is standard Star Wars Black Series. 107. That's a lot of figures they've, they've done in this line. So, and, there's, and there's more than that. Uh, and then the back. There's a bio right there. Little, uh, yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, let's pop this sucker open. Alrighty, and here's Count Dooku out of the packaging, and he looks very, very good. But before we take a look at him, we have to take a look at all his accessories. And for Mr. Count Dooku, we get his uh, signature lightsaber with that very, very cool curved hilt. Looks great. Uh, pretty much, you know, your standard Star Wars Black Series lightsaber. Uh, the thing supposed to pop out. There we go. Yep. The blade pops out. Uh, so you can have it displayed either way. And they also give you another accessory which is this, the first time they've ever done this, this is the wavy uh, blade. So this is like he's slashing his blade and it's going, woo, woo, you know, like one of those. And then you can plug this into his hilt as well. And, you know, he has that now uh, woo effect, you know. Very cool. Very cool addition. And uh, it'd be neat if they do this uh, more often for those, uh, for the lightsabers. That's, uh, that's cool. Especially because these are not, not really the kind of figures that need a lot of extra hands. Maybe, actually, you give, they should be really giving us an open hand with most of these figures. Just because, you know, they, they do use the force. It'd be nice to get a uh, an open hand like that. Alright, so now let's take a more in-depth look at Dooku. Alrighty then, so here is the Dukester. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is pre uh, an all-new sculpt. Uh, at least certainly this portion, you know, you finally get a new chest piece. I'm not sure how much of this is reused. I mean, I guess some of the arms and stuff could be reused from some of the other Jedis, but, uh, or Jedi, Jedi, plural. Yeah. When there's no Jedis, Jedi, plural. Yeah. So, uh, very cool. Um, I'm very, 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 very happy with this figure. There's, you know, a lot of, a lot of sculpted detail on there. I love the cloth cape. I love the mixture of plastic and cloth like this. You, the capes are always better with the cloth. Um, a little, this is very, this chain here is like, you know, the, the cloth kind of just sits there like with a hole. So that's a little uh, scary that that might just tear because there's not a lot. There's just like a hole punched into the cloth. Let's see if you can actually see that. There's a hole punched into the cloth and that's where the, I guess the peg went through and that's what's holding the cape in. And it's the same thing on the other side, but it's uh, it's very very th it's a very thin um, fabric, so I feel like that might over time uh, go. Now now the best thing about this figure is his uh, face sculpt and the paint details. This looks exactly like Christopher Lee. I, I guess this is I don't know if this is that new photo reel thing that they got going on, but but this looks incredible. It, it just so much better than any of the other. Uh, figures you know there's it's just it really looks like him and i and i'm really really happy with that now let's take a look at his uh his articulation all right so his head goes down to only about there and looks up to only about there you get uh all the way around and you get a little bit of head tilt to the side his arms will go all the way up to a 90 degree angle they go all the way around there's a single jointed elbow he spins at the wrist, backs forth, but can't really get too much motion there because of his sleeve. You have a uh, bit of an ab crunch there. I don't really, it's like not, not really much at all, but it does kind of move there, but it doesn't really stay. But, it, and it spins at the, at the waist there. 
legs go that far forward and they go uh, that far back. It's actually really good that it's not being hindered at all by his uh, his skirt here. This is the kind of material they need to use for this this kind of stuff because otherwise you're, you're completely losing out on a lot of leg articulation. There's an upper thigh cut. He has single jointed knees that only go a little bit past the 90 degree angle. He has up and down. Foot can go straight down. And there is ankle pivot. One thing I just did just notice, there is no uh, bicep cut. Obviously, that's definitely one of the best uh, cuts there. There's no bicep cut there. So that's, you know, not great. Now, let's see. One of the most important things about anybody with a sword is can they hold it with two hands? Generally, the Jedi can. Obviously, you can get both hands together like that. So if you wanted, you should be able to get uh, both hands onto the hilt. Although I don't believe Dooku ever used two hands for his lightsaber, you certainly can, although that looks very odd. It probably you would just want to use one anyway. So, very cool. Dooku stands just a little over six and a quarter inches tall. And for reference, here he is next to one of the Black Series Stormtroopers from the uh, Force Unleashed video game. And then why the hell not, here he is next to the Mortal Kombat uh, spawn figure. So overall, I really, really like this figure. Uh, definitely one of the better Star Wars Black Series figures. I like how they use pretty much all new uh, sculpts and everything. Like, you're not getting the, the generic Jedi stuff. You actually get the cloth cape, which is great. The head sculpt is awesome. This really, really looks like uh, Christopher Lee. And it's much, much better than some of the, the older ones. Um, I'm looking at you, Obi-Wan. And uh, really, just it's just great. Um, I'm very excited for the new the new figures that they're coming out with. I'm glad they're getting more into this uh, prequel trilogy stuff because I I love the characters from the prequel trilogy. There's so many great ones. I'm still waiting on my Kit Fisto, and uh, yeah. So I guess that's it. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I post brand new videos every Friday at noon. Check out my Instagram and Twitter, both at Craig Stuff. Thank you again, Eddie, so much. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Later.